I love you, Lord, and I leave my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King. In what you hear, and let it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear. We exalt thee. I exalt to worship you oh my soul rejoice take joy my king in what you hear and let it be a sweet Sweet sound in your ear. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I'm speechless right now, you guys, for words. <laughs> but I mean, I just had to say that because singing is in me. <laughs> and as I always say when I get on here, I'm way, way overdue for giving back God's service to Him. And um, I just felt it in my spirit just to come on here and do that. Um, but um, as you can hear, I'm used to singing... I'm used to singing solo, but I'm used to also singing um, with harmony with other people. You know, I'm normally the alto, and I mean, I'm normally the soprano, and then there's an alto, excuse me, um, with me. But, you know, of course, I'm not singing for people. I'm singing to the glory of God. I don't want God to get me, my father to get me. <laughs> I have too much in me. He's placed in me that... Um, I don't want to go to waste, you know, and uh, one day and someday we're going to be judged for the things that we know to do and do not, so, <laughs> or not do. So I, I don't want to be one of those ones that, um, you know, uh, um, that God expect for more of and no more of to do and, and don't do it. Because he said it is sin. So, um, you know, I have to repent. And I repent every day <laughs> for not doing some of the things I know I should have. But, um, 
But that was just a piece of a little something that I was giving back to God. Um, when I think of it before I sing it, of course it does never it never comes out that way because I mean there's like um, what do you call it? Like a melody, I guess, of different songs. I know you guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm sure. Um, of course, it didn't come out that way. Of course, it was just those two songs though that was ringing in my uh, my heart, which always uh, loving the Lord. That's my first of oh God because I do love Him with all my heart, soul, and my might and mind. So, um, that would be all, you guys. You guys keep seeking God, keep looking to God. But the most important thing right now to do is, like he says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from your wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and heal your land. So the main word is, again, for everyone, is to repent. But there again, as I said before in another video, and I will always continue to say, you can repent all you want, but if you don't turn from that sin, when you repent, it's like to know, know and void. God hears every one of our cries, and he understands, and he will forgive, but he will not forgive if you don't take part in that. So that's where faith and all of that comes in, where you, it's an act. It's something that you do. You turn from that sin, like I said, after repenting and live upright, righteously for God. So, I mean, that's the way it's done. Read your word. That's what's in the word. Humble ourselves with all these things that are going on in the world. Excuse me. It is judgment. God's judgment upon the earth. Plagues. The viruses. And the virus, the virus might not have come from God. Um, it could have been an act of the enemy. But God allowed it. The enemy can't do nothing, though, until God gives him the okay and says, yes, touch whatever it is that you need to touch, but don't kill him. Sometimes he'll tell him that, or sometimes he goes through it even more than that. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. But um, I don't want to say the wrong word, but I do know higher in higher places, they can't stop um, whatever is going on with God. He's the highest of the highest power there is. And he's the only one in charge and the only one that can um, do whatever he needs to do to take the steps of doing whatever it is that needs to be done. Period. Point blank. So, um, I just wanted to come and, you know, say a few things on that, you know. We need to continue to pray. I mean, everybody has a lip has lips. The Bible speaks everybody that um has has breath to praise the Lord. And we all have breath in our body. He's the one that gave us to the breath to breathe and do whatever it is that we need to do to talk. We have to use our breath to talk, whatever. But uh this is now the time to to pray. Like never before, and the Bible speaks to pray without ceasing. So we need to seek Him as much as we need to seek Him, which is right now. And He says to seek Him while He may be found, because once it's it's too late, it is too late. You cannot call on Him when He's here to give you a chance or whatever, because it, it may not happen. So it's best to call on God when it's uh. When he's available, which is all the time, right now, what I mean at this appointed time, because some people just do that. They they call on God when it is available to them. That's not what I meant. I meant um, to do it now. What's more uh, better time than now to call on God and to get acquainted with him? He is an awesome, wonderful, good father that takes care of us no matter what. He loves us when we don't even love ourselves. He knew us from the time that we were birthed, before we were birthed, from the foundation of the earth, before we even birthed in our mother's womb. So, you know how powerful he is by the way it sounds. He's got to be a powerful and awesome God. 
So I just want to leave that. I want to sit here and ramble, and that's all I need to say. And um, you guys be blessed, and I'll be back on here again with another video. Peace and blessings.